Happy birthday as well. You always find a lady's courtyard. An solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Gradio HD838WB. This is an AM FM weather alert portable radio. I got this off Amazon for a total of $24.99 minus five bucks, so I got it for around $20. Uh, you'll see this one for sale on and off. I've seen them drop this product and bring it back on board Amazon. So hopefully the links I provide below will steer you towards this radio if you like it. So let's take a look at this thing. Auto scan and storage radio. Uh-oh. <laughs> right away I saw that and I'm like, I don't know. But somebody recommended this because of the big screen. It is pretty cool. Uh, best reception. Okay, part of that's true. Uh, big sound. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> AM FM weather band clock radio. Okay, that's pretty cool. Side here, earphone jack, radio, double A battery. Well, that's a good thing, except I think it runs on triple A's. We'll have to find that out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Clock, snooze, sleep mode. All right. So let's go ahead and open this up. See what we get. Okay, bubble wrap. That's nice. Got a user manual. Yeah. Actually, you do need it. <laughs> <laughs> All those things. Is that everything? Okay, it's everything. All right, I'll just set this aside. Let's look at the user manual. Really tiny writing. Thank you for purchasing our products. Okay, how about our product? Just bought one. <laughs> uh, here we go. Man, it's a tiny little picture. Um, yeah, it, you just pause <laughs> and read because, yeah, um, in case I miss something, I'll try to remember everything. This radio has a few nuances with it, but uh, it is an interesting radio nonetheless. Yeah, see, I knew it took AAA batteries. <laughs> it's showing a diagram. Um, here we go. That's the LCD and what's on there. What you can expect to see. Pretty cool stuff. Even has snooze for the alarm. All right. <laughs> Imagine trying to hit snooze in a little radio like this. It's pretty funny. Um, time setting. So it's pretty basic. I just like to go over to manual. In case I do forget something, I would be like, page nine. And give you guys a timestamp if you guys bought this and you're wondering what's going on. Alert warning. Pretty cool. This is a weather alert radio, which will turn on when you have an alert mode, which I think is cool. All right. I think that's about it here. Low battery protection. That's a good thing. Sleep timer. Using antenna. Okay. Oh, look at that. Bigger thing. We'll get to that. Safety instructions. Yeah. Oh, technical indicators. There you go. There's all your frequency information. If you guys want that, there you go. And then there's some noise, limited sensitivity, signal noise ratios. Okay. You understand all that stuff. And there's the speaker, 30 millimeters. <laughs> Big sound, not. Um, here we go. Another picture of the screen. All right, we spent a lot of time on that, but there's the manual. Okay, radio. Bubble wrapped, nice. And look at that display. <laughs> That's the first, first thing you see is this monster display. I love it. Um, here is a wrist strap, carry strap. I left it off. Bubble wrap. Okay, so let's go over the radio's dimensions. Uh, we are two and a quarter inches across. We are four and a quarter inches long. And we have a depth of five eighths of an inch. So it does run on AAA batteries, not AA batteries like the manual said. <laughs> uh, let's do a little size comparison. Um, I have CC Pocket. Give you an idea how big this radio is. Um, you know what the cool thing is? Portable clock. <laughs> so if you don't want to carry, have a wristwatch or a phone, you get one of these. <laughs> Put it on a chain, what around your neck? Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty awesome. Um, hold on. I got more. Sky, I got a tangent going. Skywave. Skywave in the house. Yes, the Skywave. One of my favorites. Okay, you get an idea for size, profile. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we got quite a few size comparators here. Here we go. Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. You know it. He can do it like no one can. Yep. I don't have to sing it. I could just say the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, look at my back there. That's pretty cool. You know, I still haven't opened these up yet. Yeah, I know. Um, we have another deck of cards we use, but yeah, I'd like to open these up one day and play. All right, there you go. Pretty cool. Pretty thin radio. I do like the thin factor. 
on uh, huge display. Big things going for it. And then I brought a competitor out, the Von Dior. Red on red, it's kind of hard to see that. I'm trying to use my little hand so you can kind of see that radio. Um, this is the or it's 300 WB. I reviewed that. I'll put a little link up there. This is a worthy radio, let me tell you right now. 15 bucks, left hand. This is the one you want. <laughs> Unless you're, you need the big screen and you don't want certain features. We'll talk about those. Okay, so <laughs> here we are with the radio. Now, that company's weird. I think they just put their name on anything. So I don't know who actually makes this. It's one of those mystery Chinese radios that came into existence. And you don't even see their name on here at all. So it's leading me to believe that it's like one of those generic radios with just a basic mile number. So, all right, let's talk about features of the HD 838WB. Okay, so features starting out, you know what, lower this down a little bit, bring it on downtown. Now stay tuned in this video, I'm gonna do an FM band scan. Yes, I'm gonna tune the FM band. People are excited about that because I hardly ever do that. But with this radio, we're gonna do that. So left-hand side, nothing. Front of the radio, you're greeted with this huge LCD display, which will show, of course, the clock, which you can change from 12 hour to 24 hour. That's pretty nice. Um, you have your battery indicator, and you store this little flashing icon. That's the lock status. There's a button up here where I can, I think, press and turn that off. Let's do that. Oh, and a nice, beautiful amber lit screen from the bottom. I do like that too. That is really neat. Okay, so you'll notice some buttons here. They do quite a bit. We have a mode alert button. So you press this down and hold it. It goes into alert mode. The really cool thing about this radio when it's in alert mode, it's scanning all seven NOAA weather channels looking for an alert tone. So if an alert tone is on any of those channels, it'll automatically turn the radio on to alert you of what's happening. I think that's a really neat feature, especially if you know a storm's coming, rolling through your area. Just hit alert and let it sit there for an hour or two. Just don't forget to turn it off. Otherwise, you'll drain your batteries pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and turn this off here, holding it down. Turns the radio on, and then of course you just hit your power, which will just turn that off. Okay, this also does other things. This does also acts as your uh, auto scan and also adding presets manually, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Tuning. Um, this radio does not have incremental tuning. I might right there. What I just said, you guys be like, oh man. Well, if that's the case, just get this one. This has incremental tuning. This does a good job on all the bands. Just get this one. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is 15 bucks. I love it. I wasn't going to keep entering the frame there. Um, but if you love this this big screen, stay tuned. Keep watching. Uh, but what it does have, it has seek tuning. So you can actually seek to the strongest station, which isn't bad. So once you find your station that you really like, you can man manually enter the preset, which is great. You get 20 presets per band. Uh, and then you get three little hotkeys on top, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So you get a total of 43 presets. Uh, so there's that. Then you got band, of course, changes the band, and of course, time. Now, if you tap this once quickly while the power's off, it turns your alarm on. And of course, if you hold this down, now you can change your alarm. It has a little beeper alarm, which is actually not obnoxious. But it may wake you up, it may not wake you up, depending on how loud, but it's not super loud. So single tap to turn that off. There you go, pretty basic setup. And of course, time, you can hold this down, 24 hour, 12, and then of course, setting the time. Down here is a 30 millimeter speaker, which is about an inch and a quarter. It's tiny. It's tinny. I'll tell you that right now. It's, yeah, nothing to write home about. Uh, this side here, we got our volume controls, digital. We have a power button with a sleep function. Pretty simple. Top of the radio, we have a paw antenna. Yes, people like this instead of, I know people don't care for the Von Dior's, um, what do you got, the strap antenna, but it does work well. So, another shout out to this guy. That red on red, man. Trying to keep from doing it. But uh, another thing, this has a real antenna, but it's not super long. That's as much as you get. And that's a total of uh, six and a quarter inches. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll give you the FM reception report here in a second. Uh, top, you'll see there is uh, three buttons. These are your quick preset keys. Uh, they're kind of annoying to use. So if you use it on FM, they're going to be on FM. If you're using them on AM, they're going to be on AM. Um, you can't use them on both. <laughs> so if you, if you use this on AM, you press it and hold it. And then you go back to FM, that's going to erase whatever you had on all three on FM. So just choose a band and use it only on that band for those three. Really weird how they have it that way. Um, let's get this into focus. We got a lock stereo feature. Uh, the stereo is good on here. It does sound really nice. Um, uh, nice to have a stereo feature radio. Uh, the headset, uh, headset, <laughs> the headphone jack. Uh, mostly headphone experience. 
FM stations, really good mids and decent highs. Um, AM stations um, weren't so bad sounding, more like good for talk and voice. So, but there's a little tinniness to it. So if you don't like high pitch sounds, you may not like it on the AM band. But I'll be honest with you, you're not going to spend much time on the AM band with this radio. And we'll show you. <laughs> on the back is a spot for the carry strap. Here's our model information. I am rambling a lot, but there's a reason why. Because we're not going to really do a full band scan with this radio. Here in the battery compartment, we got two AAA batteries. There is their alignment. Top battery, positive is to the left. Bottom battery, positive is to the right. Yes. My generic batteries. They do a good job. <laughs> I love them. All right, so let's talk about FM reception. Uh, so I give an FM reception report. This gets an average, okay to good. It's a two and a half star rating out of five. Um, it's average. It's pretty much equal to most uh, simple analog radios. It found 52 stations. The average is 48 to 50. Um, so it, yeah, right there in the okay to good range. That's because of that. The seeking, you know, having to manually seek, going back and forth, trying to seek to find the station. I couldn't incrementally to try to find it and then tune it in with the antenna. It was a big headache. <laughs> um, so yeah, it gets that and it gets FM selectivity is good. Actually, this is the first time I think I've given a better score on selectivity versus sensitivity because I could tell the selectivity is really good with this radio. Even with that small antenna, if I was moving it, I could get that faint station once in a while. So I knew the selectivity is good on this radio. So it's just, it's a difficult radio to tune. It's really meant for strong stations or urban environment. Also to let you know when you plug your headphones in, you can retract the antenna because your headphone wire becomes your antenna. Now when I did that FM reception test, I did it with the antenna only. That's the way I do those. So you may have better results with the headphone antenna because you have more wire. Something to think about. All right, so there it is. You got the display going. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on, and we're going to see what we can pick up on Radio Totterbert. We'll run it for a little bit. This is Radio Totterbert. I got an FM transmitter here, C Cream, and we're transmitting on 92.9 megahertz across the airwaves to this radio so you can kind of get an idea of what the speaker sounds like. Just compare it to my other videos, and you'll find out. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Yeah, there's so many buttons. I'm trying to remember. Here we go. So we're on the weather band. Let's go ahead and switch to the... FM and uh, let's get out of there and we should have a preset let's see if I have a hot preset up on top there we go but turn this up feel that bass yeah <laughs>
Okay, it gives an idea for the audio. <clears throat> I notice the clock likes to come in. That's not fun. Didn't know it did that. <laughs> uh, so there you are. So we're going to do an FM band scan. We turn off my transmitter here. All right, so we're going to... Actually, we're going to go to the uh, no weather band. Show you how that works. Okay, so extender antenna. We'll see what we can pick up down in my sub-level basement. Um, okay, turn this up. Uh, during the day, I was able to pick up five stations, which I thought was really cool for a little tiny antenna. Let's go ahead and just scroll through. Now, with the tuning here, it's incremental because <laughs> there's only seven channels. So that's nice. Let us do that. Always the exciting robotic voice on the weather bands, but there you go. It does pretty good being downstairs here, sub level. Um, pretty awesome. So, and then of course, you just enter your alert mode. You can do it from here also. Press and hold that alert, puts you in alert mode. Of course, exit, press it again, and turn the radio off with the power button. So, let's go ahead and go to the FM band. Now, with the FM band, I'll show you how this works. You have auto tuning, which you press and hold mode. And it's going to scan and you only get 20 presets so if you're in a upstairs location like not downstairs like me because i don't think i'm going to find anything <laughs> is it going to find anything um on fm down here maybe an fm band scan won't be a good idea you know i do have an antenna i can hook up which i think i'm going to do anyway thanksgiving be every moment thine oh okay cool <laughs> so apparently it saved my old presets when i did that so we'll go through them. However hard we try, we all just keep drifting out to sea. It doesn't matter what. Okay, better We're just it, I guess. not that good at windsurfing. <laughs> and if some moment you're going to surprise yourself about what comes out. Negative, but then you actually have COVID 19, and if you were. I guess that band button's a little close to the tuning button. <laughs> I don't know why I picked this station up. There you go. <laughs> so that gives you an idea. It does an auto-scan. Saves 20 uh, of your stations and stops. So it doesn't even get to the top of the band. So we'll do, we'll do a band scan here. Let's go to the bottom of the band. There we go. And we'll just show you how it works with Seek. Now, what is concupiscence? Concupiscence is this yes. of YouTube hits. When the company so it's a, a long press and let go, long press, let go. If you go too short, you go right back to the preset mode. One said uh, Jimi Hendrix. You might feel based upon the mainstream. And Let's get it. 
idea what that was so cool thing is if you find your favorite station you can tap the mode button and then it'll flash the preset and you can manually enter that preset where you want it so we could put it in four to press that again to lock it in so now you'll have your favorite station so that's how you're gonna have to do it uh, if you like this radio and FM is pretty decent We're going to shout this band's game. Picking up a lot. Beastie Boys, yeah! CICS Bucktown, because it's a level one plus school with a warm family feel. Okay, yeah, so I tried to short press like incremental, but that wasn't going to work. So yeah, but it works, you know, you can get the uh, stations you want and save them to your presets to get 20, so that's a good thing. Um, main thing is this is NOAA FM radio with an antenna with headphone jack with FM stereo. That's what this radio is first and foremost with a huge display and a nice clock and alarm setup. Uh, what it isn't is an AM receiver, and we're going to go to that right now. So we're gonna, that's why I spent so much time talking about this radio, doing the FM scan, which you typically don't see me do. But we're going to go to the AM frequency here and just kind of show you what's happening there. Let's uh, just see. Do I have any? Oh, nope. I don't have any presets here. So as far as um, quick ones, we're going to go to the bottom of the band. Okay, we're at the bottom here. So we're going to turn this up, show you kind of. These are local stations, by the way. Sorry, wrong way on the volume. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> We're going to turn on the um, the Vondor here. And we're going to go down the band. And, and get it down to the same level there. So you get an idea what the difference in sound is. If it's going to let me do it quickly. It's not. There we go. Okay, so you got that. Turn that down. We'll go back up here. Okay, so you can tell it's generated noise by the screen. Let's go up to uh, 670 with the Vondior. See what it sounds like. So as you can see, this radio picked up Nashville. Let's see if this radio picks up Nashville. The only way I can do it is auto scan. Nope. Picked up something else. It sounds horrible. It sounds like missile command. <laughs> Let's 
Hmm. CFCO. Chatham, Ontario. 310 miles. But yeah, just horrible when he's changing the volume. Okay, there's Nashville. But regime, um, especially if they're still kind of hanging around. I would not stay where I would you? I think Sunday Night Football is getting just as big a... Yeah, the big football match in there is pretty wet. Uh, WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Getting tired of the sound. Nice to, to get those wins at home too. And uh, here at WGN Chicago, probably the only station that comes in nice if it's uh, real local, real strong. Talking about some a full team effort, but Corey just gave a lot of credit to the defense tonight. He's lost. Hawks game now. If you're on the inner out of Edens, 19 either way, there is construction. Both ways tonight, not a problem at the moment. Eden Spur also construction westbound. It's in the left lane at the Spur Toll Plaza. The outbound Kennedy out to the airport. It's tight from the Ontario feeder ramp to Armitage, then slow from Montrose to Fox. That's what it sounds like. Montrose 26 to the airport inbound. Heavy Ohio to the Jane Bird Interchange 24. O'Hare in. It's a 14 minute ride in from the Eden Junction. Okay, so you're getting the idea here. This doesn't sound that great. So let's just go ahead and keep going and we'll finish this up. WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. KGKA, Pittsburgh, 450 miles. ESPN 1000, not WMVP. I think we're almost done. WHO, the morning radio, a couple hundred miles. KMLX, <laughs> that squealing is horrible. Local station. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off because you get the idea what's going on there. <laughs> All right, let's do final thoughts on the Greedio HD838WB. Should you buy this radio? Uh, no, don't buy this radio. <laughs> Please don't buy it. I mean, it's, it, I don't know, there's so many things you have to do with workarounds. Um, these were fresh batteries when I put them in here. What the heck? I just put them in a day ago. What the frick, dudes? <laughs> um, there's just, I don't know, just not enough redeeming quality for me to recommend this radio uh, versus this guy right here. Um, this is such a better radio. Um, you know, you can do your manual tuning, you can do presets, you can manually add presets on this one also. has a better, well, I don't know about better, but similar mode uh, weather alert that this radio has. Um, so it, it this just does better. This, this may be my top 10 list too, by the way. This is 15 bucks. Just, just get yourself this and be happy and, and done. And if I could show you that, let's uh, bring out some color contrast. You can see this radio as it side by side. There you go. So you can see the differences there. Yeah, this radio all day long. Forget this one. Um, I'm just, uh, I can't even return it. I waited too long. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, it's got a big clock. So I just use it for a clock, maybe, if I feel like using up batteries all the time. Um, but yeah, with that AM band, there's just no way I can recommend it. This has this little bit of squeals and stuff on the AM band. This AM band's more usable. I was getting Zoomer Radio with it. I was getting uh, WSB New York City in the evening. It's great because um, I can incremental tune to those stations. I don't have to, you know, guess if I'm going to find it on a seek. I can actually go to that station and wait for it to come in stronger. So yeah, overall, the Vondor is the one you want. So there it is, the Greedio. Are they greedy or is it? It's Gradio. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Gradio. We'll call it Gradio. <laughs> um, give me a big like if you like the video. Give it a big uh, like if you don't like the radio. 
<laughs> and I warned you not to spend your money on this thing. Um, yeah, don't spend your money on this thing, please don't. Um, you're just wasting your time. Um, to come up, or uh, sorry, to hit subscribe at the bell icon if you haven't already. If you like cheap radios and you want to know a little bit more about them, but you don't want to spend the money, come to Totterer's channel and find it here first. Yes. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the HD838WB. Do you see a practical application for this radio versus this radio? Now, the big one is probably having a normal antenna. I do like that. Um, but the little tiny 30 millimeter speaker, um, a big display to kind of drain the batteries quicker. Um, there's a lot of uh, things I don't like about this radio <laughs> that this one excels on. So, yeah. But you can tell me down below what you think. All right, guys. There we are. I appreciate you watching as usual. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.